Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and to welcome back to part 10 on how to make a Steampunk Spells mini album. So in this part we will decorate uh, the last inside uh, envelope. So I will first uh, show you a bit uh, what I've done, I've done a bit uh, preparing here. So uh, this uh, birdie is from the 12 by 12 and I glued it down on some black paper and these are from Tim Holtz and I put one in the front and one in the back and uh, I attached uh, these brats here so this is going to create a sort of a slider bird or moving bird so here I already prepared it because I needed to glue down well so here I cut out the Tim Holtz tree and it's in uh, crackle accent with uh, black crackle paint from Ranger and I also drew some lines here and um, I drew it uh, 5 8 of an inch up to the first one and then maybe 3 quarter and a bit more up here and I stopped uh, 3 quarter from the ends here and uh, yeah, this uh, black behind here is uh, from uh, Tim Holtz, a tree is going up and I glued it down with a multi-mat so I'm sure it's secured. So then we will cut that out. And I also backed it on some uh, black paper here to make it a bit uh, strong. So. outside here so the white lines won't show up so here you can use a pencil I just used uh, white so it uh, so you can see it so here I'm using a craft a knife but you can use your scissors to cut this out if you prefer that Hopefully we will get this out now. So. So now I've cut it out and I went around with my marker here. Some white was showing up but it will disappear. So then we need um, to draw around on the envelope like so on the inside. So I already done that. So then we need to cut that out. And here I've taken a shipboard inside. If you have a mat that fits inside you can use that. Here I will go a bit on the outside so I'm sure nothing will show up here. 
so this won't show up if we go on the outside so you don't have to be that precise. So I will finish uh, this up and get it out and then I will be back. So now I've cut it out and it's ready to be glued down but uh, first we want to have um, uh, this here attached to the sides. So and here I cut out from the 12 by 12 paper. So made a hinge and I want it to go about here I think. So maybe we can glue on the inside first. Here set steampunk and I want spells on the back here. So so you can write a secret message on the back or anything. I had to cut off the P here a bit because it was sticking under. is just for a stopper for uh, for the tags. So I try to line it up with uh, the polka dots here. A bit of maybe here. So and then we can take the magnet on the back. You can also glue it down here and just stick the, the tags under if you like to. So, but the magnet uh, helps to uh, to hold them. You can also use uh, Velcro instead of uh, magnets. So I think I take this out of the way. So now this is ready to be glued on here. You see here, this is a bit bigger uh, cut out here. Oops, here it opens as well. Maybe glue it down a bit. So. side for measure so I'm not sure this will work but we'll try maybe we have to use some pop dot instead of the brads here but we will see so and this is from the 12 by 12 paper that I showed her how to make in the first uh, episode so we'll stick that inside Here. 
So here I just made a, myself a template, how wide is in between here, uh, the brads here. So I think we can have it to go all the way to the end maybe. Yeah. So then we need to take some marks here. Again. And we need to poke some holes. So now we will see if we manage to attach it. brads inside here for the holes and see if we can manage to open behind here. So I was struggling a bit here so I needed to open it on the back here then it was much more easy and this we just can glue down with some tape or take a bit of paper over here. So and I also put, a, put in this um, shipboard piece here I wanted to have it a bit up so it will slide easy so then we can take the brads down so I think I will secure it a bit with a strip of uh, black paper Use a glossy accent over here. So I'm sure they stay in place. A small maybe. for that. So now I think I just will use some tape over here. So be sure not to glue this down on here <laughs> because then the tag won't slide. So, so now we can see how it fixed or how it uh, works. So This works fine. So, yeah, and here you can uh, draw some black inside if you like to, but uh, I think I will just keep it like that. Yeah. So then we can make some tags. wasn't waiting long enough for a glue so I have to glue it a bit more. So when we put these tags inside this won't slide. So then uh, before we use the slider we have to take this out. And here I used from the 6x6 paper and this is a sticker. So we're going to cut out. So I've just got the same white as a sticker about. And maybe 
can get up a bit as well. vintage photo. It's the same I use for our all. So just do it a bit random here. So you can decorate the back as well if you like to. So this can also go behind here. And um, for the tree here I have some little old here. So here I think maybe we use a glossy accent. This was from the 8x8. So I can take a bit more here. Place in here. And this uh, little cat, I took some glossy accent around here. So we can be watching the tree. using uh, the glossy accent just because I had it open. So. And I uh, also want some uh, small gears on the tree here. Just for fun. <laughs> see if I have some more small gears. is cut out from an eye of an owl. So maybe stick that one here. Thought I had one more, yeah. Good. And maybe have some bats as well. One more gear on the top here, I think. Here. Good. So. I think uh, I need to see it to the other page if we are going to have one more tag here. With this uh, yellow here. So I think I leave it for now. So if I make it, I will make it the same way here with the same uh, sticker. So now this can be uh, glued on here. So we need to see how much room we need. I think I use it all here also. So now I can take my eraser and take out this line here. the same we do for all the pages. You can use liquid glue here as well, but uh, this is very strong, so but use what you like. So I'm going to try to line it up here. Almost to the scoring line. Okay, yeah. So some cool looks sticking out here. <laughs> so now we can um, start with the flap here. So this to go inside so we can see how much we need to build this up. And you see it's far away, too short. So then I will make a template uh, for that and uh, I will be back.
so here I cut out the strip that's a bit more than four this way, the same width as the envelopes. And uh, I cut it about uh, eight inches because uh, we need to measure on the top. Uh, we're going to have a spider here, so we won't cut that out now. We will do the front plates uh, first. So uh, this we are going to attach here and uh, I scored it at uh, three inch here. So, but I think we will cut this up off a bit because this here builds up a bit. This you can use as a tag or something if you like to. So, and we will glue it on here. I think I will open it. So, more easy to see. So, here is already a score line here. So we will let go a bit on the outside here, so we will attach it from this score line. So I we'll need to glue it well down. So place this over here. And uh, here you can use, uh, if you have a leftover envelope, you can uh, use uh, that for this side here. And I used a strong photo uh, paper from a photo box book here. So just make sure we line that straight up here. So, or you can glue two uh, regular pages together here to make it a bit sturdy. So this I cut a bit uh, shorter than uh, 3 inch, so we're going to have that in the inside here. But first I think I want this uh, spider here. So I've taken a magnet on the back here. And um, take the glue off here. And this red paper is from the 6x6 paper pad. This is a Tim Holtz die, and I also crackle accent that one. So now we can glue this on. Good enough. So here I can place something on the back. I think I will take a copy paper and uh, just color it in and place over the back here. So we can take maybe this inside, maybe we change it later. Here I think we will have some gears and we will use the same paper here, but that we will wait with uh, until we cut out the spider on the back side here. So then this will close up like so and um, in the next part we are going to uh, attach uh, a spine over here. So and uh, if you don't put uh, so much embellishment that I did in here then you have to measure this side how wide it is here and take it a bit higher so this was uh, two and three quarters high here. So yeah, and we will also take the back uh, part to decorate that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching and have fun creating. Bye bye.